Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. We went to the Dollar Tree and Walmart. Um, you wanna do a double? Mm-hmm, I am. Because some of the stuff is together. I know, it just twisted off. Yeah. Um, so we had to return some things to Walmart from the other day because they were the <coughs> wrong vitamins and stuff, the wrong doses. So we just exchanged those, and while we were there, I looked for some things. But first, I ran into the Dollar Tree. My Walmart and Dollar Tree share a parking lot. They're just across the parking lot from each other. Mm. And I was so surprised when I walked in to find pool noodles. I thought when I needed another one, I was going to have to ask the lady to get one from the back. But they were out in full force. They know that we wreath with them, right? So I got two. And I picked green just because they're the lightest color, but whatever. You guys pick whatever. What did I do? I hit you, you with the toe. Aw. Um, from the Dollar Tree. This is the only bag, right? Yeah. But I got this sign. So I picked up this sign, and I actually picked it up for um, a DIY. I think I've told you guys about Harry Potter, and I want to have like a Harry Potter 50th birthday, even though it's not for another year and a half. Um, but I picked this up, and I think it's really cute, but I did want to repurpose it to do like hog meat, hogs meat, and, you know, uh, Diagon Alley, and make different signs for all the different... Um, places in the movie books story I didn't see these before and I didn't see anybody hold them and I know there's lots of DIYs out there with witches feet and these are super cute um, not saying that they weren't out there I'm just saying I didn't see them like we say all the time right the card for some reason is upside down from how you hang it like that this is a plastic hanger that they put to replace the fact that this was ripped but it still was meant to hang like this, but then the words are like this. So, all right, go figure. Oh, no, the words aren't like that. The words are like this. I just can't read. And there are two little feet you get on little tiny picks. They're so cute. They're probably going to have to wait for a DIY for next year. I also picked up some chain. This is just one of those things that, like, I feel like as a DIYer who does Halloween DIYs, you just should keep some of this in your supplies. I don't have a specific thing in mind. I had a few ideas, but nothing in mind and nothing till next year. Because Halloween crafting is over. Um, everything else is Christmas except that's it. just this one bag, right? Yeah. I found this by the register, and they came out with them before in wood and uh, colors, but these are now in glitter, and they had hope. And they were in different color glitter, so hope was in silver glitter. Love was in pink, like rose gold, and then there was gold. And um, I think Believe or Dream. I don't remember. But I just love Hope, and I love the white and silver glitter. I think that that is so sweet. So everything else is from Christmas. I picked up the two bottle brush trees. This is so much cheaper. Last year, I did a DIY with bottle brush trees, and I think I paid 97 cents for each of them. And I was like, this, I, you know, now I was I was disappointed they didn't have them. Um, I believe they do carry them in green. They only had one package, and they only had white at my store. But that's what I wanted anyway, so that's okay. At least now you have some of the same bottles out with. So exactly. Bottles. I had uh, picked up another one of these because when I bought the first one, I was like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But then I realized I have a DIY saved on my phone from last year. It's actually not a DIY. It's a dupe. Um, from last year and I'm gonna make it so I needed another one um, So this oh in case you're new a uh, hi, I'm Jerry Ann, but this is a 15 inch white wreath and It's got a white wire form with all of these little twisty pines on them. Okay. I picked up a post office to go with the church that I bought the other day but um, I never talked to you guys about them, and I know people have been sharing. Um, they actually sit on a tea light. Now, I know this isn't a tea light. This is a, this is a votive, but you get the idea. So you put, like, one of the Dollar Tree or any kind of tea lights that you have in there. Um, so they will light up if you want them to. Um, oh, cool. Oh, you didn't know that? No, because that know. I know that because I know what I, I want to do. What? Let's do that table. Oh. Village? Yep. So maybe we'll have to go back to the Dollar Tree and get more. Um, but I got the post office. I thought it was really cute. They have one blue house, a post office, a, a hotel, which is white, 
and um, the church, which is like white and gray. And I got the church the other day. I found the Chris Moose. He is just so cute. I actually didn't get him for Christmas. I think I got him for my friend's baby. Um, she's having like a little woodland theme um, nursery. Um, and you guys will see because I'm going to be doing some DIYs for that. Um, but he is really cute. He Oh, he's dark. It's dark in here. Yeah. He has a, a bitty bitty black and red gingham like buffalo check and a little tiny hat. I guess it proportionally sized it would be buffalo check. But he's got red and black gingham on his hat and on his little scarf. And he's a little tiny moose. And he's so cute. Should have got more than one. And also with the buffalo check on his scarf, I found this little plush teddy bear. He does have like a regular, um, like a conical type of hat. Um, but I just think he was super adorable. I might pull his hat off. I'm not really sure. I think it's sewed on. And the last thing I got from the Dollar Tree was this beautiful ornament. It's going on my forever tree and it's never coming off. I, Jim and I have a cross collection. I think I've mentioned it before. And I thought that this was absolutely beautiful i can don't yeah. you agree it's two-sided it came in silver and gold it has and the big stoked. rhinestone in the middle it is a celtic cross you see the circle in the middle makes yeah. it a celtic cross um but it's beautiful uh weave work it's open it's open lace work um it's all covered in glitter um it's got these like faux beads down the middle and then of course a rhinestone and the best part i love about it is there's one on each side so when it spins on your tree just like this, it will be perfect from either side. So that's everything from the Dollar Tree. I realized I don't know that I shared with you the stuff that I got at the Dollar Tree. I was sitting here and I was like telling you guys about the church that I bought and I realized that I didn't show you the church that I bought. So here's the church. So the other day I bought some stuff. I ran in just for a few items, and there is just a few items in here um, because I wanted to make a country crate. Um, I bought the rulers to make another star for next Fourth of July, and I was as I was hauling them, I was like, "Oh, these would be really pretty because the backs of them are just oh, the backs of them are just wood, and they do have a hole in them, and they're nice and flat." And I thought these would be perfect to make one of those country crates. However, I was just at Walmart and they have them for $3.98. So I'm like, well, I have $6 worth of country crate. Like, it would be cheaper for me to buy it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. So I got five packages of the rulers because I don't know what I'm going to do with them now. In black, by the way. Um, but I bought the little church. And again, that's where the little tea light goes underneath it. And they're quality. They're plastic. But the paint job is so nice for... Um, I want to say for Dollar Tree, but that doesn't sound right. I picked up this beautiful piece of farmhouse art. It says, nothing can dim the light that shines from within. And they had other ones, and I didn't have my camera phone with me, and I realized that, so I would have taken pictures of them, but um, I just picked up that one because I wanted that one. And I picked up this wooden game board to make the country craft. The country crate because um, it's wood and then if you've never seen this before it is um, backgammon it comes with okay hold on let me open it
So that's everything from the Dollar Tree. Uh, really quick. Yeah, that was about as what I expected. And now I'm going to show you the stuff that I got from Walmart. And again, um, I got some food, not food, but I got some medicine, but I mostly got craft stuff. So I picked up a sugar-free Italian sweet cream. They were out the other day. So um, I... You right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and this is the fish oil we were supposed to get, this Omega-3. It is... 10 40 milligrams it is this one was a excuse me 180 tablets they didn't have the 140 tablets oh. anymore or capsules and it is omega-3 fish oil Jim's supposed to take two of those a day or one twice a day technically this is the cinnamon we were supposed to get this is the 500 milligram cinnamon this will not make me burp this is 180 tablets and since Jim and I both take it this will last us 90 days which is three months supply that's pretty good they didn't have my big bottle of stool softeners, so I got two little bottles for just, I think it's 48 cent different difference, but I won't have to go back. Um, this is a stool softener that I take. It's 100 milligrams. I take it every day. It's not a very pow powerful, potent one. It just makes things a little easier um, to go. And What? I might have to start taking that soon. Well, you have well, food that make you go, go to the bathroom, okay, so... You should probably just be eating those better, but yeah. yeah more cheese. Exactly. Um, so I got two bottles of those. Each one of those is 140 tablets. Now I wanted to try aloe vera juice. Um, I did read an article about uh, aloe vera juice and blood sugar. I wanted to try it. Um, I will let you know how it goes, uh, if how it tastes. I have never, but I just bought the small one to try. Of course, it would have been cheaper to buy the big one, but I didn't want to try it. Like I don't try the big one, then not drink it. Um, and then they had this little clear stamp set with inspirational things on it for a dollar on the clearance section. It says. Uh, count your blessings. Hallelujah. Uh, thankful. Sorry, it's just that it's clear. Oh, glasses is good too, but I just meant because it's oh, clear. Okay. Sorry. Thankful for his love. Beyond blessed. Praise his name. Have faith. And Jim's going to read you the last one because it's the last two because they're like black with like little clear areas cut out of them. There we go. And I thought they were so pretty. And there's a cross and um, a halo and another cross and a paschal fish. Just the black ones? I'm sorry? Yeah, the black circles with the writing in them. Okay, well, the black square is pray uh, less, worry more. And the circle says... Jim. Read that again. Pray less and worry more is not really the saying. Oh, that's what it says right there. Pray more, worry less, pops, pops, or worry less, pray more. Pray more, worry less. That's not what you said the first time. All right, just to clarify. You actually said the opposite. So it was like, <laughs> pray less, worry more. I was like, um, I don't think that's right. Psalm 413, right? Yeah. Um, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Oh, and that always reminds me of that song. Okay, so that's that. Um, the next bag, is this just two bags? Yep, that's the second one. Okay. And the last bag, there. yep. Um, I think that's it for the non-crafty Christmassy stuff. Um, I found this roll of Buffalo Chuck wrapping paper. It came in two sizes. This one is 70 square feet, 25 feet long. No, I'm sorry. It's 20, two and a half feet long by 9.3 yards. And this one was $2.98. And now all of a sudden it got really dark in here. There we go. Oh, hey, everybody. The yeah, the sun just went behind a cloud or something. So you can see it's a very subtle buffalo check. Um, and it is $2.98. I picked up these candy canes. I was waiting for them to come from the Dollar Tree, but they just never did. But at Walmart, they're 98 cents every day. 
So um, I just picked them up there instead. And I got two of them. I also picked up this Santa hat for 98 cents from Walmart. I think it's a little bit cheaper quality than they'll be at the Dollar Tree, but right now the Dollar Tree doesn't have any. So one cheaper 98 cent one is better than none. And then I got some, these I had to get. Sorry, I just had to. They look like corrugated cardboard. They each have a jute bow around their necks and there's four ornaments in this pack for $2.98. But I knew that if these were individually sold at the Dollar Tree, we would have bought them for a dollar. I'm just saying. So let me pull them out to show you really quick. Each one looks like this. I think they're super cute. I'll probably use them for DIYs or ornaments. I'm not really sure. I haven't decided yet. Um, they are on like a piece of chipboard, so they're a lot harder than they look. But the antlers can bend if you're not careful. And you got four of them for three dollars. Yeah, because I figured if they Never. were at the, if this was at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, you guys would buy it, or I would buy it. Lord knows I would buy it. And the fact that you get four for three dollars made it even better. But of course, there's a lot of things that you can buy like in bulk, but you just need to, um, you just need to be able to lay out the money. And one of the things we often talked about is the size of Walmart compared to the size of the Dollar Tree. However, my Christmas, well, most people's Christmas section is in the garden section, and most of the time they have a cashier there. So you could just go to the seasonal section, buy what you need to, and leave. It doesn't have to be a whole store. <coughs> Sometimes. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Okay. I picked this up because again I said to Jimmy this is not something that I can make for $1.97. It is a little metal like uh like see look it's a crate and it's a little metal crate with a metal handle with two little Christmas trees in it. I thought they were super cute with a little sprig and a little jute on the outside and this was in the ornament section for $1.97. And I think that's it from the Christmas section. Um, I picked up this Buffalo check duct tape. Again, for that friend that's having, yeah, oh, for that okay. friend that's having a baby. Um, I got this for her. And Any then I picked time. up some stuff on clearance. Rebecca. I picked up some stuff on clearance. I bought this for a dupe. Last year I was going to dupe this um, for Christmas for you guys and now this year I'm gonna do it too, but I want to show you even on clearance It was four dollars. We're gonna dupe it for two. Actually, we're gonna dupe it for about a dollar fifty Actually even less than that. Yeah, like a dollar dollar forty, but um, this, under, two bucks. under two bucks But this is six feet of LED lighted decorative garland And it's really funny because I looked it up and then we looked all around the Christmas section because it doesn't show the packaging online. It just shows you wrapped it up. It wrapped up. And we looked all around the Christmas section. And then I was like, oh, maybe it's in the wedding aisle. And I looked all around the wedding aisle. And it was in the wedding aisle. However, it was on clearance. So it was actually in the clearance aisle. And they had three of them, but I only picked up one. Also in the clearance wedding were these letters. And again, this is one of those things. I just can't make these for $3. For $3, you get... Two of each, one of each consonant, two of each vowel. You get 30. Did it say 30? I feel like I said 30 somewhere. Hold on. Well, I guess that A, E, I, S, T, and then the consonant. Right? That would be 30. 26, 20, 31. I don't know. But anyway, one of each consonant and two of each vowel. So that's A, E, I, O, U. That's five extra. Okay, so that's 29. Points. Forgive me. For three dollars, um, it was originally only three forty-seven. If you ever find it, but it's these burlap letters. Oop. And I got two packages, and I'll show you really quick. They're a stiffened burlap letter. Um, I bought them for the friend who's having the woodland theme baby shower, and as soon as she figures out what she wants to name her baby, <laughs> we're going to um, we're going to uh make a craft so their little burlap letters you see them they're they're ironed on to some like uh, I don't know if it's double started I don't know if it's like 
fusible interfacing or something, or it's just interfacing just to keep it. I think it's interfacing just to keep it from fraying. Yeah, coming apart. It says scan me for more project ideas. Um, they show them here as like a little uh, like tag, like personalized. But I just thought they were so cute for anything for crafting. I love the leather you pulled out. Why? Because I love you. No. Why? Why? Why not? Why? Just why not? That's why. Why not? So again, I picked out two packages of those. And the last thing that I got was these chalkboard banners. I don't know what it is about me and chalkboards. I'm still in love with them. I feel like I have to like just collect them every time I see them. You get six banners. This particular sample has the word love written in it. Um, they are sort of a soft, like a really, really thick paper. I don't know why you're always drawn to chalkboard products. Why? Because you've always wanted to be a teacher. Oh, that's true. You know what, Jimmy? You're so smart. Yeah, they're like a really thick paper. Um, you're so sweet. You're going to make me cry. Again. That's only kind of logical. Sorry. The sun is going down. Um, so these were three dollars and fifty cents. Originally seven dollars. Originally six ninety four. So this was half price. Okay. And I thought those were super cute. So that's everything from both places. Um, got lots of DIYs coming up. You okay? My foot. Aches and pains. Just getting old. Yeah. My yeah. dad. My dad used to say, "If you wake up in the morning and there's no pain, you're probably dead." Okay, so that's everything. <laughs> we'll definitely bring you along oh, on all the DIYing. Um, there's lots of that coming up, so stay tuned. And as always, no, we won't jump there yet. Huh? <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more of what we do. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share friends and family. Anybody you know might be interested in seeing all the stuff that we got for DIYing. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, take care. God bless. See you next time. Bye. 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 Oh, he's joining. Don't you want? That's not. What is it? I'm squishing your head. I'm squishing your head. I'm squishing. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.